creating Lotha title animation in PowerPoint. Lotha title is the overlay placed in the title safe lower area of the screen. We can create such type of Lotha title animations in PowerPoint. We can even create green screen video to use this Lotha animation on our video as an overlay. Let us see how to create this animation in PowerPoint. Let us create a presentation first. For this I am taking a blank presentation and changing the layout to the blank slide. Now I am changing the background of the slide by right clicking on the slide and clicking on format background. Let us select any dark color. I am taking black color here. If you want to create this Lortha title animation for green screen video, we need to select green color, this green color. So that we can remove that green when we are using it on any other video. First let us take black again. Now we will create objects. First let us insert a icon. We can take any icon or any picture we want to display. We can even take icons from insert tab in office 2019. Here many icons are there. See this is in the black color. That's why it's not visible. Let us change the color first. Like this we can add any icon. Then we have to take a shape around this icon. Let us take the circle shape. I am taking this circle shape. Pressing the shift button, it will come in exact aspect ratio. Let us remove the fill color of this object by selecting no fill. And outline, we will take white and Weight of the outline should be increased like this. Whatever you want, you can create. I am taking this white circle. Now say we have to copy this one again by selecting and dragging while pressing the control key on the keyboard. We can create copy of any object, see. Or we can even create a copy of any object by clicking it on and pressing Ctrl D on keyboard. See it is created. Like this we can create in copy of any object on the screen. I have created a copy of this circle. Now let us add a shape for displaying a rectangular shape I am taking we have to adjust the size of the shape to fit circle like this now send it to backward now select both the rectangle shape and circle shape and in the format tab there is option to merge shapes select this one and click subtract it will be subtracted from this area rectangle shape is now created 
let us place it beside our circle now let us adjust it to correct position so that it will look nice by nudging with arrow keys we can easily adjust this one so this is okay now this is the output shape we want to show and the text on this rectangle we can create by selecting the text box and typing let us create text with white color let us keep this here and increase the font size we can even change the font if you want so all our objects are ready now we have to give animation first we will give animation to this icon to float in and then the circle then the shape and finally the text so first let us give animation to this icon for giving the animation to this icon you have to select this one and select animation tab the animation we want to give is float in so select this float in animation so that it will slowly floats into the scene one animation is complete now we want to give animation to this circle so let us give the animation by selecting the circle and clicking the animation tab we will select basic animation of wheel here see okay let us check it again by previewing it okay it's almost okay now let us give the animation to shape in the blue color by selecting it and giving the wipe as animation we want wipe animation from left side so change the effects options here also we need to change the speed for that we have to change the duration here let us check it once this is smooth now let us give the same animation to powerpoint animations text here for this we can even copy animation of any object to other object by just selecting the first object and clicking the animation painter in animation tab and clicking the second object we, which we want to animate see the same animation has been given to this text box so let us check it finally by clicking this slide show the animation is ready but it is coming on clicking so we have to change the option there let us change the options in animation pair first object has to come when we click and all other objects has to come one after other so select the after previous option here so that oval shape will come after the icon then the rectangle shape come and text box comes finally so 
we have changed this to after previous now let us check the final animation i am clicking only once here the animation is perfect only thing we want to add is sound to the circle when it appears on the screen let us add it for this we have to select the oval shape and in the animation pane select the oval shape and double click now the animation options open we have to select the sound here in the enhancement tab we can select any sound already available on this list or we can even select any wave file from our system i have downloaded a free cc0 audio and selecting it now let us check the animation by clicking okay let us check it in full screen sound playing here you might have observed that the animation is very fast so we have to sync that animation with the audio which is played so let us do that the sound file is little bit lengthy than the animation speed let us check it again by previewing it Check the bar sound coming up to here. So let us change the animation speed of this oval shape. For this, we have to select this oval in the animation pane, and we can increase the duration here or on the timing tab. Check this one. I am increasing it to four seconds. Let us check it again. it's perfect now like this we can create animations lower third animation in powerpoint so for using this lower third animation on any video we have to convert this into green screen for creating a green screen video we have to change the background to green so let us take this slide and duplicate it now change the background of this slide i'm taking green here if you want we can even change the color of this shape rectangle shape let us change it once here also we can change and shape outline should be no outline now let us check the animation once this is the first one and this is with green screen we can record this part of the animation and use it in any video as a green screen video let us check it in the green screen video mode This is how we can create lower third animations in PowerPoint. Also use it as a green screen video on any other video. Hope this is useful to you. I will come with another animation technique in my next video. If you want any specific animation in PowerPoint, let me know in comments so that I can create another animation technique. Thanks for watching this video.